Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Evelyn's 3D Shop This is, I don't remember right now, the third video of the series of physics simulation in Blender Many people in the other videos have been leaving me comments on how to export a simulation from Blender to Unreal in FBX for example and sadly I have bad news I've been doing research and also I have been doing it myself trying to export in other uh, file formats like you know FBX, OBJ, GLTF and it seems like for physics simulation you have to use ABC I've tried with all of this and none of them worked and sadly rigid body is not an exception in this video I'm going to show you how to export a rigid body simulation from blender and import it into unreal engine all right everyone let's begin as you can see I have here a simulation I'm going to go to render mode so you can see the colors and this is one of my products from my series Orgullosamente Catrachos. This is a series of food 3D models that are from my country, Honduras. You can see it here. Our flag, the name Honduras, and our national animal. This is a guacamaya. Anyways, I'm going to show you the simulation where we have these. These are rosquillas and tostacas these are like um, pastry this is not sweet pastry like really really sweet I mean it is sweet but it's um you will have to taste it to know what I'm talking about people from Honduras and Central America will know so I'm going to show you right now the simulation I'm going to move up far so you can see it okay so it's just a simple simulation of the rosquillas and the tostacas falling down okay as the other videos I'm not going to show you how to create a rigid body simulation at this point if you're seeing this video is because you already have it and you want to know how to export it from Blender and import it to Unreal Engine so first of all the way to export a rigid simulation is to bake it if you go to the physics panel here the physics properties you will not see a bake button at all in any of it so you know all of these objects here that I have in the food collection have the rigid body simulation in there you can see it in here the plate is the passive and the other ones are the active so to bake it you have to go here sorry where is it scene properties over here this is the icon like a little mountain well I guess it's a triangle um pyramid I don't know you go here to scene properties and here is the rigid body world you can see it's already picked on because you have a simulation here if you remove it you remove the simulation nothing is happening so you have to have it clicked you open it and you go below and here is the bake section so in here in the rigid body world settings in case you want to remove the simulation completely you can click in here and it, it removes it completely in here the collection this refers to the collection the 3d models that work that are included in the simulation are so by default the rigid body world already creates its own collection in constraints the collection containing rigid body constraints objects because we don't have that we don't have constraints nothing is created here the speed refers to how fast or how slow the simulation goes the split impulse refers to the reduction of the extra velocity 
that can be built up when objects collide. In here, the subsets per frame. I'm going to move here so you can read. It refers to the number of simulation steps taken per frame. And in here, the solver iterations, it means to the number of constraint solver iterations made per simulation step. So in here, in collection, I made several tests with leaving the collection as it is and bake it and exporting it and also with changing the collection to a um, custom collection that I created. In my case, my custom collection is called Food. You can see it right here. I have all of the models that are involved in this simulation. I have it under Food. So I made both scenarios and in both scenarios I was able to bake it and export it from Blender and import it to Unreal Engine without any issues. But in my case I want to change it. I want to change it to Food Collection because that's where I have all of my 3D models that are involved in this simulation. So for me I'm going to change it. To bake it and export it I have seen that it doesn't matter if you want to leave it as it is or if you want to change it it works either way okay let's continue and then finally on cache this is the frame length of the simulation so in here it starts at number one we're going to leave it as it is because it's a, it's all right it's correct and the end we're going to change it from 2050 to 20. We're going to put here 20 because that's the end frame of our simulation and that's it we're going to click bake and please take notice that i have chosen everything so these changes i am making here i am making them in all of these models bake and that's it it's already baked now we're going to go to export alembic we have everything chosen by the way always chosen all of it and well in here i have several models in scale we're going to change it to 100 because if you leave it at one and you will import in Unreal Engine very very small you will not be able to see it so a hundred is ideal very ideal frame start number one and we also remember to change it in here it has to be 20 and then we go here to flatten hierarchy and here we change it to selected objects then here in objects options you are going to pick the UVs Pack the UVs, the normals, the generated coordinates, the facets. These facets are important so you can have the option of changing colors. If you don't pick facets, the Alembic file is going to export with just one color for everything and therefore in Unreal Engine you will not be able to change it because it will contain one material for everything. So you have to do it in here. So choose facets and then if you want to triangle it you can triangle it I already have it you know triangulated or I think I have it on quads I, I'm not sure right now but I'm not going to pick this here if you want to pick it that's okay and in here in particle systems I don't have export her nor export particle so I can simply remove it okay perfect I'm going to export with this name here export alembic and that's it now I'm going to go on to Unreal Engine and I'm going to click on import I'm going to click on the ABC here it is and then in here import type make sure to have geometry cache have everything all of your 3d models in here your meshes picked your frame, frame start, frame end. In here, you can pick, get, skip empty frames at the start following the sequence. If you don't have it clicked, it's okay too. It's not going to affect you. 
at least not in with this particular um, simulation and then you go below in here in conversion we're going to change it from Autodesk Maya to Autodesk 3ds Max in here we're going to click also in create materials so that the face sets that were exported in Blender can be imported in a real engine so hit import and ta-da here it is so we're going to in the wall we're going to put our simulation our rigid body simulation here we're going to click play and here it is we're going to come closer as you can see all of it is completely black and the way you're going to change the materials we're going to hit exit and on the alembic file it's imported as geometry cache here it is to change the materials and then you will see it with colors now going back to blender if you're interested in baking this simulation into keyframes I'm going to show you how to do it so first of all in here in collection you will have to change it back to rigid body world 002 because in case you don't change it what will happen is that your models will disappear I'm going to show you really quickly what I'm talking about so you go to object you go to rigid body and then you hit bake to keyframes which is here gives you these box options and all of it we're going to leave it as it is you know the start frame is number one is correct the end frame is 20 and frame step this number refers to how many keyframes per frame you will make so in here because we will have it in one it's going to make one keyframe per frame if we have it in two it will be every two if we have it in 10 it will be every 10 frames a keyframe we're going to hit ok and we see that it's like deleted it disappears so what we have to do so we don't have it, that issue is that in collection we're going to change it back to rigid body world in here we're going to delete bake and bake it again it's already baked so I'm going to go here to object just as I show you rigid body bake to keyframes hit ok and that's it we have our simulation baked into keyframes this is the end of the tutorial I hope that it was helpful if you have any questions or suggestions please let me know and I will gladly answer them as soon as I can Please, if you like this video also, don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment if you want to just say thank you, that's okay. Thank you very much and see you on the next video. Bye.